Hey, this is Kip, and this is part six of my on-air company guide. In this video, we're gonna learn all about freelance jobs and what are called freelance schedules. One thing that can feel a little tedious in on-air company is that you're kind of always having to deal with the economy. You have to rent and lease planes, you have to manage your employees and only fly from where the employees are located and things like that. Well, what's really nice about these freelancer features is that you can just load in to any plane at any airport and just get going. To access freelance jobs, just go to your pending job screen. You can get there by clicking the little clock icon in the top center of on-air company. Once you're there, click the freelance tab and you'll see that I have no freelance jobs so far. So we're going to go ahead and generate one. And all you have to do to do that is go into your sim, pick whatever plane you want to fly and wherever you want to fly it out of. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Sedona in Arizona. And now I'm going to pick the DHC2 Beaver because I haven't flown it for a while. Now, I don't have an employee at Sedona and I don't have a Beaver that's rented or leased or bought. I'm just picking whatever I want. Now that I'm loaded into the sim at Sedona, all I have to do is go back to On Air Company. And then here in the top left corner, there's a button that says search freelance jobs for the aircraft I've loaded in my sim. All I have to do is click on that. And then in a few moments, you'll see a job list generated for you. You can see that all of these jobs originate here at Sedona. And they're also based on the plane that I've selected. It says that there's a limit of six seats for passengers, maximum payload of 1,530 pounds. So all of these jobs will be appropriate for the plane I've loaded. And I can just go through this list like any other jobs list and decide which one I want to take. Whenever I accept a freelance job, it automatically and temporarily gives me the plane that I chose. So if I go to the My Aircraft screen, here you can see I have a freelance DHC2 Beaver. And as soon as I complete the mission, it'll disappear. All you have to do is hit the little plane button to prepare this flight and start it like any other job in On Air Company. The next feature I want to show you is in beta and it's called Freelance Schedules. If you look on the left side of your dashboard, there's a little button here called Route Jobs. You can also get to this by clicking this little tiny button in the top left next to the little refresh button. If we go here on the left side, we'll see two options. The first one is Manage and Fly Your Own Company Routes. This feature is pretty advanced and it basically lets you set up regular routes that happen on a daily or weekly basis that go from one specific airport to another. And you can define like a flight number. So you can think like, okay, this is the Kip on the Ground Flight 14 and it goes from LA to Vegas. And that's one that you will fly regularly as a job. But the new feature here is called Offer Your Services as a Freelance Pilot. And this, again, is in the spirit of the freelance jobs that we just looked at. It's something that you can get into really easily as kind of a one-off challenge to yourself. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a bunch of real-world airlines. And each of these airlines has routes that are already populated in the database based on their real-world routes. So for example, I can go up here to the top left and find the airliner that I want to fly for for this week, and it'll generate a schedule for me. And I'll be able to do these flights as I wish throughout this week and earn credits and also earn rank points with this specific airline that I chose. So let's say I want to fly as an airline pilot for Delta as a freelancer. I'm just going to type in Delta and hit search. So I see Delta here on the left. Now I'm just going to click on Delta. And then on the right side on the map, you can actually see all of the hubs and flights that Delta flies. These aren't 100% accurate, but it's close enough. You can see the giant hub there in Atlanta. Next, I need to choose my starting airport. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We'll see all of the airports that are available for Delta, and I'm going to choose LAX. Next, I can specify how many flights I want to be generated for my one week schedule. So here I've put in two. And then below that, you can see you can also limit it by how long each flight is. So the default is between 100 and 1,000 nautical miles, but you can change that if you want it to be larger or smaller. Once you've set up all your preferences there, you can either click on this button that says generate a schedule for an Airbus A320. It's there just because it's extremely popular to fly the 320, but you can fly another plane if you want to. The button below that says generate a schedule for the aircraft in sim. So this is similar to what we did in the first part of this video. All I have to do actually to get it to recognize a plane in the sim in Microsoft Flight Simulator is go to the hangar 
and then change the aircraft and then let that load. And that'll be enough for it to detect this plane within on air company without me having to actually load completely in to an airport. Then you can go ahead and click the button that says to generate a schedule for the aircraft in your sim. Now this will work if you pick an aircraft that happens to be part of that company's fleet. So if I was going to pick like a Cessna 172, this would not generate any flights for me. It has to be realistic. So in this case, I have two generated flights here, one from LAX that goes to Oakland, and then the second leg is just from Oakland back to LAX. So it is gonna generate a realistic looking schedule for you where you start at your hub like LA, and you may have a few legs that bring you out further away from LAX, and then at the end, it'll return you back to LAX for your last flight of the weekly schedule. So here you see if I generate five flights, now it goes to Oakland, then Salt Lake City, back to Oakland, then back to Salt Lake City again, and then finally for the last leg, it goes from Salt Lake City back to my origin at LAX. Now all I have to do is accept this schedule if I like it by clicking the green button in the middle, it says accept this schedule. And then it'll take you to the current freelance schedule screen. So this shows us all of the legs of our freelance schedule. The one in purple is our next leg to fly. And so all I have to do is click on the little plane button in order to start that. And it'll take me to the prepare plane screen that you're used to seeing when you do other jobs. If you navigate away from the screen and need to get back to it, you can either hit the route jobs button on the dashboard. You can hit the route job shortcut in the top left. And that'll take you back to this screen. Here you would click on freelance pilot again. Or if you go to your pending jobs by clicking the clock in the top, you'll notice that these are listed in your regular pending jobs list. If you switch over to the freelance tab, like we did earlier in the video, you will not see these jobs there. They're actually under the pending jobs tab instead. So this section is only for those one-off freelance jobs. This one is in a separate place just because it's kind of a larger feature. Also, in the same way that we had a plane temporarily assigned to us for the normal freelance jobs, for these freelance schedule jobs, you'll see on the My Aircraft screen, again, we have the Boeing 747, and it's marked as freelance. So this will exist so long as we have those jobs. As soon as we're done with them, it will disappear. Something that's very nice about doing this as a freelancer for the airliners is that they cover all the costs of the rental of the plane, you know, the maintenance of it, and the fuel is also included because it would have cost you so much to fill that up yourself. So you're not expected to do that as a freelancer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the 747 and do the first flight for my weekly schedule, and then we'll go ahead and see what happens after that. All right, so this is what it looks like after you complete one of the flights. You can see I did the one up to Oakland and it's now marked in green. Now the purple one under it is highlighting our next flight. So I can go ahead and start that whenever I want. Now, if you look at the top center of the screen, it shows a little piece of text. It says weekly bonus time limit, and it's marked for Sunday on September 24th. So today is September 17th. So that's giving me until next Sunday to complete all five of these flights. So you can do them at your leisure. Whatever works for you, you can do them all five in a row, get the bonus and then generate another schedule, or you can space them out throughout your week, whatever works for you. If I go back to the regular route screen, you can now see here in the top right that I have a rank shown for Delta Airlines. So it shows your freelance ranks. You can see that I've gotten 10 points with Delta for doing one flight. Every single flight you do will get you 10 points. And if you successfully complete all of the flights for that weekly schedule, you will get an additional 10 points for every flight you completed if you do it within that week. So for five flights, if I do them all within the week, I will get a total of 100 points. I get 10 for each and then another 10 bonus for each because I completed the entire week. It also shows my current rank with Delta as trainee and says that I have a 0% bonus. Once I get up to 200 points, that'll turn into a 200% bonus. So instead of earning about 2,000 credits per flight, I'll be earning 4,000. Those ranks go all the way up to level 5, which is captain. And at a captain level, you will get 500% bonus. So five times your earnings. You can also fly for multiple airlines, and you will see your rank for each of those airlines in this section of the screen as well. So you can see how these freelance jobs make it really easy just to hop into on-air company, 
and not have to deal with like the economy and the logistics of your planes, your employees, and all of that. Just hop in and fly wherever you want. All right, that does it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.